Hello and welcome to The Mill. I am your host, Dusty Crane, and it is time for the second annual predictions episode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at what we have coming up here on the Stonemeyer Work in Progress chart and try and take a wild guess of what this year is going to look like going forward. So when I look over this chart, I see four titles that are slated for a 2021 release, and that is Codename Gold, the Between Two Castles expansion, the Rolling Realms game, and Tapestry Expansion 2. Um, so, jumping right into it, the very first thing to come up is Codename Gold. And this is one that I actually had a chance to talk about last year, so why don't I just go ahead and let me do it again. Codename Gold on the shirts is a pyramid. And so that gets you to thinking naturally that it's Aztec Gold or something like that. Um, and there are certainly other games out there that are in that same vein. So that, that could be, Jamie could be, you know, saying, hey, I want to make a game um, with this theme. But I think, I think this is a, a misdirect. I think this is Jamie trying to take our eyes off of the fact that he had found a, a design for Red Rising. And I think maybe um, this is still the Red Rising game. Where gold comes into play is the different um, you know, classes of citizens in, in uh, Pierce. I'm going to forget his name. Um, anyway, the, it's Pierce something, or that might be his last name. But the Red Rising books, um, gold is like the highest order of citizen um, in those stories. And so <clears throat> I'm going to guess that this was a, a way to take our eyes off of that. We keep asking Red Rising, Red Rising. If that's the case, then maybe the author is also getting questions and maybe that's not desirable um, until the game is in a certain state. And so I could be wrong here. I could be off, but I'm going to guess that's my, my pie in the sky wild guess for what that gold is. I think it's I don't think it's a pyramid at all. I don't think it's Aztec related. I think it might actually be a Red Rising game. So we will have to see about but, that. But. Okay, so I last year I thought Codename Gold might be Red Rising. And I still think that's a pretty good guess for all the reasons that I presented last year. Um, but in the event that I'm wrong, Jamie's talked a couple talked a bit about a couple of things that kind of also fit that pyramid idea in his 2020 favorite games he mentioned a game called in the hall of the mountain king i think that was the name of the game and he talks about um you can play a card and you get the resources that are on that card and you can play a card next to it and you get the resources on that card but then you have the opportunity to play a card on top of those two cards and make kind of a pyramid. And not only do you get the resources that are on that card you just played, but you get the resources of the cards that are below it as well. That ties into something else he's been talking about, and that is comboing and how you know, it feels really good that you can take this action and you kind of get this cascade effect of you get what you played, but you also get this and you get that and you get that and how that just feels really good. In fact, he also talked about it when he was talking about his favorite mechanism in uh, Rajas of the Ganges 2, or the Dice Charmers, um, not 2, um, but how that, you, you know, you play something here and you also get this and this and this and this. And so I thought maybe if it's not Red Rising, then maybe it has something to do with like that pyramid and the cascading. So maybe not like a game particular, but like a mechanic. I could see that maybe being worked in. So that is what I had for code Name Gold. The Between Two Castles expansion. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to think about this. We know that it's going to include Automa because... Well, one, the work in progress chart shows solo design, but also because shortly after Between Two Castles actually came out, um, Morton had mentioned, I don't know if it was on BGG, um, it probably was where he mentioned that they did actually get the solo player figured out, but uh, so if there was ever an expansion that would be included. So I think we got that going right there. Um, certainly that, I think there's room in the box for more bonus tiles, more... I guess there's a little bit of room for actual tiles, not much, um, but I don't know in terms of fitting in that main box what that could look like. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I, I, I'm just kind of at, at a loss for, for what that could contain. Maybe uh, maybe we'll get something to do with um, 
uh, peacocks this time since we accidentally got swans last time maybe we'll actually get the peacocks this time around um, in the art or whether it's bonus cards or what is going on there um, so let's move on to rolling realms rolling realms is one that we pretty much kind of know what to expect already so i'm not going to make any wild predictions about that we've played the pnp um, we've played it online or seen uh, the the playthroughs we kind of know what to expect but i thought i'd maybe toss this out there i wonder if because Codename Gold will already be released by the time Rolling Realms is, I'm going to go ahead and guess that the next game, whatever that turns out to be, will actually be a part of Rolling Realms. Now, I don't think that's a wild um, guess or anything like that, but I thought, you know what would be really cool is, you know, Jamie doesn't talk about... That's the little guy's ears. I, you may have saw a picture. It's my dog. Um, Jamie had mentioned... You know, that he doesn't talk about future titles before, you know, he's ready to actually make them available. But I thought, how cool would it be if one of the, the kingdoms or the realms that you can actually play in is like Codename Sail or Codename Dive. And that was literally what it was called, Codename Dive or Dive Codename or whatever it is. And he, whatever mechanic he's already, you know, got for that game that is actually a part of that card. So you can actually we can speculate on what that game would be. Now, I don't know if it'll actually happen, but I thought that'd be a really cool idea. And if not for the game itself, maybe for a promo. Um, I guess that leads us to the Tapestry expansion, the second one. Um, so when we look at what we got in last expansion, we got a lot of civs, some new buildings, some new tiles, um, and, and some new Tapestry cards. And I think we're going to get that again, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that, that this time around, there's going to be less buildings. In fact, I think we're only going to get one building. I bet I, I'm thinking something like uh, like a like a centerpiece or a showpiece, a, a showcase item where it's the first player marker or it is like the winner's trophy, but just like some building that just kind of makes you go, whoa, like has some kind of table presence and that, you know, we'll get some more sieves, we'll get some more tapestry cards, maybe some more tech cards, but I think the real big item in this expansion is going to be a new game board. I think we're going to get a new board because people are also asking, oh, hey, we want more tracks. So I thought you get new tracks if you do a new board, or you could anyway, um, and it would feel, it could feel different depending on the technology that you include on there. Um, so then I got to thinking, okay, so if we don't go with the full new game board, maybe we do a an, an accessory board on the side, kind of like they did with uh, Euphoria Ignorance's Bliss, where there's a couple of tracks on there, and you can, you know, perform some, you know, additional actions, gain some new things. Um, in fact, uh, that led me to thinking, okay, well, what would that look like? And I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool is if we had a map in the vein of like terraforming Mars. So what if we actually made it down the science track and we made it into space and the game was actually like, like this futuristic or, you know, game or else it was just like some, some you're colonizing this new space and the new, it kind of works with the eras. You know, we went through, you know, era one, two, three and four, and, and, and now we are moved on to space. In fact, I kind of tossed, uh, I'm going to call it Tapestry Time and Space. I thought that was a cool title and um, kind of has the same kind of idea as Plans and Ploys, doesn't it? Um, so I like it. There you go. Uh, we got to the end of the science track. We made it to space. Tapestry Time and Space, I think, would be an awesome one. In looking over the rest of the calendar, I think there are also a couple of other titles that are going to make it into 2021. I think we're going to see that Wingspan Legendary Box or the, the Wingspan Holds Everything and Organizer this year, or at least for order this year, with Wingspansion 3. Um, we obviously don't yet know what the expansion is going to cover. I'm going between Asia and Africa, but I think I'm probably going to more heavily lean towards Asia as being the next one. I have no particular reason for thinking so, but um, it just just feels right. But I do think that the the Wingspan Legendary Box, if we will, will be a part of that Wingspan Expansion 3 pre-order window. That's my guess. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the Viticulture Expansion. Now this is one where I think it's going to be ready for this year, but I think it's going to push into next year. I think this is going to be a 2022 release. And the reason I think so is because obviously if the Wingspan Expansion is going to be late in the year, 
the viticulture is a title that's evergreen. It's one that is continued to be talked about and a big expansion for it. I'm not talking about just the card expansions, but a big expansion for it, I think is going to, is going to draw some eyes and it's going to garner some attention. And so I think that could actually be a great title to start 2022 with, um, with a real strong first quarter release, I guess. As for what is in there, I think we're going to see certainly more visitors, but that's not going to be it. It can't be it because we've already had a couple of those smaller expansions. Jamie never wrote a rule book for it. We know he wrote a rule book. So I think we're going to get um, a, a new board. I think we're going to get uh, something along the lines of, you know, also having like the Tuscany board attached. I don't think I'm kind of curious if we'd actually go somewhere else, if we leave Italy and go somewhere else, what that would look like. Um, and then obviously that map there would, would change a little bit, or if we just move to a different region, but a new board with some new spaces, with some new powers might be kind of cool. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. But I do think, I do think despite the fact that it'll be ready this year, that it's going to be a next year release. In All right, so let's talk about the remaining games that are on this list. Now, these are games that I don't think there's any chance we see these in 2021. I think these are all 2022 titles or later. Um, Codename Sale is the closest of all of them. I think that's a Q2 2022 title because I do think the Viticulture expansion is going to be Q1. Um, unless the Wingspan expansion doesn't make it. If for some reason that needs a little bit more time, I can see Viticulture taking its space and, and Wingspan 3 and the organizer moving into that spot. I see those two kind of interchangeable on the release calendar. Um, let's see here. I also have, um, as for the content of sale, I have no idea. I don't know what to expect in the least bit. Um, but for some reason, um, in my notes here, I wrote, I, it doesn't, Codename Sale doesn't feel like a Jamie title. I think this might be um, either someone else's design or uh, maybe an Alex design. Um, let's talk about Codename Cape. Um, I believe I've guessed it's a superhero game, but I still struggle with the idea of a superhero game that doesn't feature licensed superheroes. Um, I mentioned that last year. I still, I'm still at that place. I kind of had an idea that, you know, if, Jamie was messing with the idea of a LCG or something like that, that maybe he had some inspiration from Marvel Champions. And so when he's looking at the Scythe, the Scythe LCG, if that is what eventually comes of it or does actually eventually come to fruition, that that could be a nice redirect as you got the cape and, um, you know, you're thinking something superhero and it actually was just the inspiration for the title so who knows um codename draw totally a bag builder but that's all i got codename wild is still in my opinion the co-op open world adventure game and finally codename dive um i listed this one kind of fun as stone mary teams up with elizabeth hargrave again to do something with aquatic animals um <laughs> I'm actually kidding about that. I think this one actually might be an Alex game, um, along with Sale. Um, one of the two I'm going to say was one that Alex had in mind when he when he brought to Stonemeyer, And the other one I think is something that Alex and Jamie brainstormed from, you know, from brainstorm to completion uh, was a, a total collaborative effort post joining Stonemeyer Games. Um, again, no particular reason for thinking so, but that's where I am. And I'm curious, um, th that's all my speculation, that's all I got for you this year, but I'm curious if some of the videos you've caught or some of the, if you've picked up any hints anywhere else, if you have an idea, I, I have a pretty good idea what dive is, I have a pretty good idea what sale is. Now I know some of you guys that watch are actually play testers and some of these might actually be play testing. Don't, don't do any of that cutesy stuff that's, uh, you know, that, oh, hey, you know, I'm going to go ahead and don't, don't spoil anything like that. Um, but if you have any guesses um, and, and you don't know, then feel free to drop them in the comments. I look forward to speculating right along with you. It's always one of the, the fun parts about being a fan of any game company um, or really a part, the best parts of any fandom is just like what comes next. So um, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you guys had a great new year. Until next time. Be good to yourselves and be good. I think I'm talking to my kids. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.